Hey guys. So today we're going to be making these adorable Suncatcher garden stakes. You can use them in your house plants, use them in your flower pots, put them in your garden. They catch the sunlight and they're beautiful. So for starters, the first thing uh, that I want to tell you is if you don't want to go and buy a bunch of supplies to try to figure out if this is really something you want to do, you can do it like this with a hanger. Take a hanger, cut it off with wire cutters, put your knob on, and off you go. The thing about the hanger, that's how I started to practice, it's really thick. So, you're only able to use the bigger beads. Like, like these big spacer beads. They're lampwort glass beads. Now you do want to use glass beads. I mean, you can use acrylic beads. I have these acrylic beads that I have put in uh, these right here are all from the dollar store. They're acrylic. These are some other beads that you could use as well, but they're not translucent, so they're not going to sparkle and shine. The thing is, it still works. But after I practiced with this one and figured out that I really wanted to make some, decided that these would be good Christmas gifts, I went back and I got these, I tried a couple different size of stainless steel rods. And the stainless steel, the thing is, um, I live on an island uh, by the beach, so the salt air really messes up, it rusts everything. Stainless steel is a lot sturdier, put, stands up better to the salt air. So for me, I ended up getting the 1 16th inch, and they're 12 inches long. So you could put your beads, oh, seven or eight inches, you know, leave, leave enough for it to be stable in the ground. But the reason I chose this size is because they, they wiggle a little bit. Even if you put it a good bit down in the ground, the wind is going to give it a little bit of shake, which throws your sparkle around. So when the sun hits this and sparkles, it's going to throw it around. And if you also, you could put some little jingle bells on them in the places like where I put the charms you might choose to hang a jingle bell instead of the charm or put some charms and jingle bells I wanted to put some jingle bells today but I can't find my jingle bells I lose more things inside in this small little place it's crazy but anyway so you get the idea though so what, what I did, since it's just a stainless steel rod, is I took the good old E6000, put it in the hole. Um, by the way, these are drawer pulls or cabinet knobs. You can find them. I get mine on eBay, and these are all leftovers that I had from when I was making the mason jars last year. Uh, they come in all different colors. Um, I have the pink ones, I have the clear ones, then I have these little, they're called a pumpkin that I really like. They have kind of an antique look. I also did one with just a plain white knob. It's a white plastic knob and then I glued on this little gnome because gnomes are kind of popular right now. But you also could use these flat knobs. They come in... Uh, unfinished wood and you could stain them or paint them to match your whatever you're trying to do and you can put any kind of little gadget on top if your kids have some little toys that they don't play with anymore or some little pet shops or something like that and stick it on there I don't have any little kids so I didn't have that option to show you but anyhow you put the E6000 in the hole stick your rod in and then I also I don't know if you can see it. Put this. I put this little spacer. It's it's a little rhinestone 
spacer. I slid that on so it stuck in the E6000 and gave it a little more stability. And then since the top is flat, you just stand them up, put it between something that'll hold it steady, let it sit overnight, and you're ready to go. So we have a lot of options here. I have these. Most of my beads, by the way, I want to tell you, you can get beads on Amazon. They're all made in China so um, the holes you have to test them to find one that, that the holes actually consistent which is kind of frustrating unless you just want to use all of the really big beads now this is an acrylic bead but I have used this one it gives some sparkle see it has a little sparkle that's an acrylic bead from, I think, from the dollar store. Where you just go through. I don't, I don't have a rhyme or reason. I like color. So I, I just mix it up. Uh, when I can find something that fits. But I do want to tell you something about that. I found a really good place for a good price. No, it's not a sponsor. I'm not getting paid for this. But I want to pass it on. It's a place called N Beads. The letter N and beads spelled out dot com. And I tell you, it's going to take about two weeks to get your order. I have an order in right now that I'm waiting on. But the price is so good, it's worth the wait. I, I have an order right now for 900 beads and it's going to be with shipping 15 like $15 and 30 cents or something something ridiculous so that's really cheap then you can make a bunch of these everyone I know that that gardens will be getting some of these for Christmas so I have a lot to make I'm also going to put some of them in my eBay shop, which is um, Boutique of Art on eBay. And I'm going to put them in my .com, which is MyPrettyPartyShop.com. Now, you know what? I wonder if some of these little seed beads, these are not the tiny hole, really tiny hole seed bead. Let me see if one of these might fit. Ah, darn it. Nope. Anyway, so you get the picture. You um, you just do whatever suits your fancy. String them on. If you're going to use these really big beads, they move side to side because the hole is very big. So you just need to make sure you put your beads all up tight. Then it won't be bouncing around. I've got a lot of these spacers, but they also give some shimmer, just the plain silver ones. And then, let me see if I can find one. I have these where they have the hole already, you know, the little loop already for your charm. Well, let me put another bead on there. Um, but you don't have to use those to be able to put charms on. You can. You can put a jump ring right here. Wait, let me grab one. Oh, that's our right one. Like this little Eiffel Tower. I've already put it on a jump ring. So, you could just put it like that. Put your beads on. It's going to hang nicely too. You don't have to use this kind of bead. Anyway, get it strung up. Oh, I might be here all day trying to find uh, beads with holes to fit. That's frustrating. So, we'll just do this. Pretend I'm all the way through. I'm only going to put this much and I'm done. So for the final one, 
get you a bead that fits nice and tight, like one of these little spacers. Put you some E6000 on the wire. Slide your bead up to the E6000. Set it again overnight. Or, you know, for a couple hours. Let it harden up and it'll be good. It'll be ready to go. Now, you know, with the charms, you have all kinds of choices. Those you can get on end beads. I haven't looked at the prices of them there, but their stuff is really cheap. But you can also get them on Amazon. You can get them in mixed lots that just have all kinds. And again, I like the beach, so a lot of my things are beach themed. And I tried on these to, to make, you know, I got a frog and a turtle on that one. A couple fish. A fish and a sailboat. You know, I end up doing it. I end up doing beach theme. Whether people like it or not. Just because I like it. But look how beautiful they come out. It's an easy, it's really, uh, I wouldn't say it's cheap to do. But it's not really all that expensive. Once you buy the beads and you've got a ton, then you can whip out a bunch of these. And these stainless steel rods I got on Amazon 10 for $7.99. So you got eight bucks into that, uh, maybe 15 bucks into your beads, and then you could probably make 30. So, and once you find the beads with the holes that'll fit you can whip them out it doesn't take that long to do and I think it's a nice Christmas gift teacher gift postman gift don't forget the UPS guy um, you know his wife will love it so that's it pretty much for this video uh, my next video I'm going to be showing some soulless sandals there. Some people call them barefoot sandals. Um, I've got a couple different ways to do them that I'm gonna I'm gonna do a video about that. And I had said on my last video that I was going to put up the video of whoops of my uh, what is it my flower pot person. I didn't video it. I thought I'd videoed it when I made it, but I did not. So I'm bad about that, I forget. So I'm trying to start remembering while I'm doing all these crafts to take videos so I can put them up on my channel. So if you subscribe and follow me, you'll get a notification if you turn on the alerts. It'll notify you when I put up a video. And I'm gonna try to put up a video at least once a week, maybe more. So see you next time, bye-bye.